Hope y'all are back again. TB's here. We got another Masters of the Universe. This is, should be Masterverse, yeah. Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, Skeletor, and Havoc Throne action figure. Uh, made in Vietnam. Uh, yeah, I know buddies of mine in the UK had this already, and I know I've seen some people in Masters uh, fan groups that already had this for months, I think, for a good long while. But now I has it, so I'm going to check it out. And um, we got it from Big Bad Toy Store. Sometimes I'll jump the gun and be a dumbass and like not get stuff from BBTS. And if I can find it on eBay, I'll get it a little early on eBay and stuff like that. And then there's some dudes out there that's just like, you don't know. I guess they don't know if they're from Malaysia or Canada, but they can get shit like super fucking early. But um, either way, it doesn't fucking matter. Um, yeah, I want to check this guy out because it is good old Skeletor. And, uh, yeah, we're going to start busting this thing out and shaking it out and open it and, you know, for all its glory. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to say in my own weird way that it's just better to wait on BBTS, man. Big Bad Toy Store and get your shit. It really is sometimes. And, um, yeah, so here you go, Masters Universe, New Eternia. That's Skeletor. He looks dope. His throne looks dope. Everything looks dope. You got big, scary bats, gargoyle bats. You got a big cobra skull staff in the back. Got his bone thrown, made of chicken bones, made of Popeye's chicken bones. And um, if anybody knows what that's from, uh, yeah. And yeah, there you go. And there's the bat from like the battle armor, so that's cool. There's a snake. Here's good old Evil Lynn. Almost looks like freaking Meg Foster, dude. Not gonna lie, bro. Not gonna lie. Almost looks like Meg Foster. That's pretty freaking dope. And then you got a good old Panthor. And then you got um, Screech. Which, that'd be cool if we get a Masterverse Screech. I know we're getting a Masterverse Panther sometime soon, because I've seen pictures of that when everybody in the SDCC... Uh, let's see, it's unassembled. We're showing stuff. Oh, yeah, there's a little one of the Snake Mountain faces, man. One of them weird little face guys right there, too. And there's the snake. Oh, it could be just the snake that goes on top of the Snake Mountain. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm being annoying shit. I'm sorry. Let's see, from deep within Snake Mountain, Skeletor rules from the Bone Throne. The Bone Throne. <laughs> Uh, that just sounds like a place where you sit and do the thing you shouldn't do. You know, I don't know. <laughs> the bone throne. I'm going to go sit on the bone throne. But anyways, an ancient artifact crafted by the original inhabitants of Snake Mountain from the poisoned bones of wyverns, or wyverns, wyverns, the bone throne now serves as a conduit for Skeletor's havoc magic to seek out and capture the power of Grey Skull. And here you got good old Beast Man. And good old Good old Merman. That's freaking dope, dude. Good old Merman. What is how does Merman go? Merman goes. That's horrible, I'm sorry. I'm drinking. But anyways, there we go. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna open this figure up and check him out. Oof. Here we go with our YouTube unboxing. It's all it's an unboxing on YouTube. But yeah, there's more uh, Snake Mountain mishmash faces. So there you go. I'm gonna take that out. As we see, okay. And there's yeah, Skeletor right there with the bat. Like the battle armor bat. I kinda like this little box. This is a, I can keep this little box. I don't know if we can keep the other box with the art on it. But yeah. That's freaking dope. More Snake Mountain faces. That's freaking dope. That's freaking cool, man. That's freaking dope. How many times are you going to say dope? Anyways, uh, as many times as I... Please. But anyways, and go ahead. The rest of the box, you got... Um, art's pretty dope. I might just get rid of that box, but keep that box. And here's our Skeletor. He looks badass. I ain't gonna lie. It's worth waiting to get, man. You can see all your buddies' pictures on like Facebook or Instagram and stuff like that. But once you get it in hand, that's just the big... That's the big deal right there, man, is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, Master Universe, new attorney is Skeletor. That's rad. That's freaking cool. Oh, yeah, some little dragons. Uh, those are like the little dragons that I guess are on the bottom of the Snake Mountain on your, your little play set that you play with with your little dolls. Uh, more Skeletor looks very Alcala-esque. And Skeletor bald-headed when he's got the, 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 the Cobra skeleton staff right there. That's freaking dope. And yeah, you don't need any explanation for him. It's just Skeletor. And that's freaking dope. Oh, there's like hair and stuff in there. Ooh, weird. That'll creep me out as a little kid. I'm not gonna lie. I was a big pussy. But anyway. <laughs> little pussy, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not a big pussy. Maybe just a little pussy back then. <laughs> but yeah, that's cool. I love that. It's Alcala-esque. Ooh. Not to Alfredo Alcala. But yeah, here we go. 
You put it together. That's freaking dope, man. We're gonna have to put this damn thing together. That's badass. Nice. Here's the bone throne. That's freaking cool. That's freaking dope. Make it out of bones from Popeye's chicken. Let's see. Another piece. Oh, the lights. Rubber lights. That's pretty cool. These things hot because it's been sitting in the back of my trunk of my car. Um, let's see what else we got? We got another thing here. Let's see, we got more bone thrones. Yep, that's a cool. Big ass bone closet or rubbery. There we go. And then we got more pieces right here. We got some fur. So that's cool. That's probably where he sits because you don't want to sit your butt down on a bone throne that's, that's going to be, I don't know, he's got a bony ass anyways, maybe, but, okay, cool, man, that's freaking cool, there's a little light, that's freaking dope, are they going to come out with a Masterverse Gray Skull and a Masterverse Snake Mountain, are they going to do that, that'd be crazy, and then here's that cool staff, that Cobra staff, that's freaking dope, that is cool, it's all golden, that is cool, and then this right here, what's in here? Tons of goodies, tons of things to open up and put together. Ah, oh, like snake stuff, like a little snake, like um, candle holders or something, I don't know. Nice patina, all kind of like tarnished and yeah, that's freaking cool, man. That's freaking cool. The green rust on it or tarnished whatever. There's the head of the bone throne. I'm the head of the bone throne, boy. That's all. There's a little ring. So you can be like trapped off, swoop down. And what else we got? Oh, we got back piece diorama right here. Got an instructionis. And we got a little diorama piece. So there you go. That's freaking cool. All right, rad, cool. So all we gotta do now is just get it together. Let's look at the bone throne a little closer, just this part, because we just kind of whizzed by it. So there you go. All right, there you go, folks. Look at the back, whatever, yada, yada, yada. It's the tail bones connected to the backbone. The backbone's connected to the claw bone. Oh, we have to walk to the damn gas station because I don't have any AAA batteries. So yeah, we'll be back in a GIF. Just We're back after walking to the gas station. Uh, that was so annoying, but uh, I didn't have any AAA batteries. But other than that, we got to put together, man, which is pretty freaking dope, dude. That is pretty freaking dope. I'm not gonna lie. Got the head on there. You can rotate, which is cool. You can put the Cobra staff. Just sits right here. So that's freaking cool. Then you got your little lights, which we'll check out after we get Skeletor open. And I forgot to, yeah, they got leaving those little weird little skulls at the bottom too, which is freaking dope. But yeah, man, you can have uh, figures maybe standing off to the side. Skeletor right there. That's freaking dope, man. It's freaking cool. Freaking really cool. Really cool piece, man. Really cool fucking piece. You can move this. I'm the bone throne. But yeah, that's freaking rad. Oh, got to make sure that's popped in right, though. But yeah, there you go. Anyways, let's get the Skeletor open. Our Skeletor out, and here's the cool little interactive whatever content list. Cracker Jack box thing. You can open it up right here. So open me and get your, get your goodies out of there somehow. Which I think are just two hands basically. So yeah, there you go. Anyway, Bonehead himself. I really don't like the feet on this figure to be honest with you. Uh, is it the same Skeletor we've had before? I'm not sure, but here's, he comes with a fist. He comes with a, like a hand, like a shaky hand or just maybe a spell casting hand, who knows, or a booty slapping hand. Got a big ass Havoc staff, which is dope. That's freaking rad. Um, yeah, his feet kind of suck, man. I don't like the way his feet are, to be honest with you. I could, yeah, I could do without these feet. I don't know. Anyways, uh, he's got a cape, which I feel like I'm going to just ditch the cape. I don't know. It just seems like kind of whatever. We're going to ditch the cape. Now, Skeletor, Skeletor's got a bobblehead. He's got a bony-ass bobblehead. That is crazy. Thought this was going to be one of my favorite Skeletors. It might not be after all but he does have an open mouth so that's freaking cool and you can pop his head off and you can actually i guess yeah take out the 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 cowl head or the cowl or whatever the hood and just have him like a regular bone head which i kind of like that man i kind of think we'll just do that i think we'll just keep him like that man i like that a lot better that's kind of cool that's just me man 
that is just me. That's freaking dope. And, um, and yeah, uh, articulation, pretty much the same standard with Master Versa, pretty much. Don't really want to go into that because I feel like the main thing about this is just the, the throne itself and the coolness of it. And maybe just the Alcala type head or whatever that it comes with, with the jaw, which is freaking cool. Um, other than that, it's just standard Skeletor figure, but I really don't like these feet. I really don't. They, they feel just kind of funky, and he just stands on them weird. I don't know. It's just me. It was just me. Maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, Throne's badass. Um, let's sit him on the throne. Let's go ahead and sit him on the throne. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. As dark as we could get it, but it's as dark as we're going to get it at this time of the hour in Texas or whatever. But, yeah. But, yeah, here's the... Yeah, I love these lights, man. This was worth the walk to the um, to the gas station right here. You press it again, flickers into some green. Almost looks blue, but it's more green. It looks blue on the camera, a little bluish, but it's very green. And you click it again, got a blue, which yeah, it looks very blue here. Yeah, that's freaking dope. And then purple, but it was a purple, it went from purple to orange. Either way, it's freaking dope, though, man. It looks badass, to be honest with you. Look at that. Let's like, zoom in a little bit. That's freaking sinister, man. I'm not going to lie. Like, now that we're up close a little bit more, that just that is freaking dope, man. That is really super dope. Super freaking dope. I don't know why. That's freaking cool, man. That is freaking scary. It's scary. But yeah, that's freaking cool. I wish my grandbaby was here, man. I like to show this to him. He might he either might dig it or might not. I don't know, because he sometimes he likes stuff. Sometimes he doesn't, man. I don't know. It's, he's a funny guy. But either way, that's freaking badass. I like that right there, man. I need to get like a black backdrop, which I can do that easily at some point, and uh, get some badass photos of this thing. Maybe do that tomorrow night. I don't know. Got to work on bids tonight, but it's almost like. Disco Skeletor, yes. It's all like... And then I think if you hold it down, or like, you gotta hold it down, and then let it go. There, yeah, and it stops. Now we got the back piece, this diorama piece uh, in there, and yeah, you gotta, I don't know. Anyways, you figure it out when you get it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, ugh, I already had enough whatever was it, but yeah, it's still a dope-ass piece, man. It's still really dope. Let's maybe just turn off this light. Yeah, it's still freaking super dope, man. Super freaking dope. And then, yeah. You can even see some stuff in the back. I'll turn that light back on. That's freaking these pillars and stuff. That's freaking dope, man. It's a, it's a cool it's a cool uh, display piece, man, for maybe your shelf detail or whatever. All your Motu stuff. It's freaking rad, man. It's a freaking good piece, man. Very cool. Very, very freaking cool. Well, you know, folks, that's it for this review of uh, Skeletor and uh, that's the Universe New Attorney of Skeletor and his... Uh, Havoc Throne, freaking cool. I don't like the feet on the Skeletor. I feel like, have we had these feet before? Because I feel like we haven't had them before. But either way, I don't know, it's a cool piece. Anyways, once again, thanks for watching. I'll have a good one. All right, later.